Welcome to Free Academic English. I'm Geraldine and today we're going to talk about extensive reading. You know that the best way of improving your reading skills is by reading. And definitely the way that we get the most out of an activity is that if we enjoy it. And that is extensive reading. It's reading for pleasure, reading for fun, and learning is just an additional benefit. When reading English, it might not be so easy to find something you like, or you might not know how to find it. So I'm going to help you with that. Since the key of extensive reading is to enjoy it, you really need to read things that are according to your level. Because if you read things that are harder, then you're not going to enjoy reading. <laughs> so in the descriptions, I'm going to leave you the links to the resources for basic students, intermediate, and advanced students. What can you read about if you are a basic student? Anything. Just choose the topic and you can read about it. If you don't like reading, I recommend starting with comics. Now, graded comics are not a thing yet. I think. I'm going to look it up. So, there aren't many graded comics as there are graded readers. But there are some. So I'm going to give you links to comics that are easy to understand, that they don't have much text, but that they will make you feel both that you're reading and that you're comfortable with it. If you don't mind reading children's books, then read them because they are easy to understand. They have lots of pictures and they're entertaining. If you are more like a professional person that really doesn't like anything related to children, well, then I will leave you some pages of readers according to your level. Short readings for basic students. So the purpose of this is just to read and to enjoy doing it. The same with intermediate and advanced students. That is going to, as you go forward, it's going to get easier to find material that you can read and that you enjoy reading. But just a piece of advice. Let's say you're a plant lover and you like reading anything that has to do with plants, which is great and which you, and which you should do. It's great to do it extensively as much as you can. Don't close your mind and close yourself to reading about new things. Maybe one day you can read about rocks. And after that, you decide that you are not into rocks, after all. So that's fine. Then, another day, try to find a new topic. Like, try to read about psychology. And maybe you find that it has interesting things there. Or start reading about children. Or, I don't know. But don't close yourself to just one topic. But, above all... Just enjoy what you're doing. If you find it hard to find the time or the place to just enjoy a book, you can go to a library. Do you check my video about Edna's library? So you have options. When you're tired of studying, just grab a book and read it. The one you like the best. The one you have already read, but read it. Maybe a movie you watch and it has a book. You can relate to that and enjoy it. Extensive reading is pure pleasure. So do it. Here's how you can start. Think of one book that you have read in any language and, that, and a book that you would read again over and over. Okay, choose that book in English and read it. Let me know what your favorite books are and what your favorite topics to read are. I love reading my favorite comic in English, Pooch Cafe. And I enjoy reading about bacteria and animals. What about you? Thank you for watching. Comment, share, subscribe. And I hope to see you soon.